In this video, we'll show you how to install the Easy Set Stitch Length plate sold exclusively at Sayerite. This plate now comes standard on all new Alterfeed sewing machines. To retrofit an older Alterfeed sewing machine for this new plate, the first step is to remove the feed regulator thumb nut. Remove the stitch length plate by removing the screws on either side of the plate. Keep the screws, discard the plate. Remove the top plate by removing the two top plate screws. The removal of the top plate will help illuminate the next procedure and is also required in a future step. Using an 8 mm wrench, reach through the face of the machine and loosen the nut a half turn on the feed regulator lever. Push the lever to the middle position of the opening. Turn the lever counterclockwise until it comes loose from the machine. Remove the nut and keep it and discard the old bent lever. Next, we will install the new feed regulator lever found with the Easy Set Stitch Length plate components. First, the nut that was removed from the old lever needs to be threaded onto the short threaded end of the new lever. Screw it on so 5 sixteenths of an inch of threads are exposed. Reinsert the lever in the machine, nut in first where the old lever was. Thread the lever in until it is snug. Use the wrench to tighten the nut. You may want to use pliers to hold the lever from turning when tightening the nut. Use the pliers only on the non-threaded part of the lever. If the lever does not spring up on its own, follow these steps to make it spring-loaded. Remove the belt and balance wheel to expose the hole under the bushing. The posi pin nut is reverse threaded, so turn it clockwise to unscrew it. Use a screwdriver and insert it into the machine from the top and loosen the feed regulator screw. Note. You may need to position the feed regulator lever down partway to gain access to the screw. Here you can see a close-up of it. Okay. Do not remove the screw, only loosen it. From the side of the machine under the bushing, locate the large feed regulator pivot screw. If this screw is blocked, simply turn the bushing until the path of the screw is clear. Loosen the screw counterclockwise approximately one full turn. Check the lever to see if it springs back up when you release it. If it does not, loosen the screw an additional half turn. When the lever springs up naturally, go back through the top of the machine and tighten the feed regulator screw. Reinstall the balance wheel and top plate. Prepare the new plate by placing the screws that were used to hold the old plate through the slots on either side of the Easy Set Stitch Length plate. Put a star washer on each screw with the sharp side facing the plate and then push a nylock washer on each screw. Position the plate on the machine with the thumb screws on the right and loosely start the plate set screws. Push the plate all the way down so the screws are at the top of the plate and snug the screws down slightly. If the lever appears too close to the slot sides, make adjustment to the plate's positioning. Thread the remaining nut on the lever so when the post is at the top, the nut just touches the top stop. Okay. 
Thread the thumb nut on the lever until it hits the smaller nut. Lift the presser foot and rotate the balance wheel by hand to check that the feed dog does not hit the needle plate in forward and also in reverse. Be sure the stops are at their maximum position top and bottom when checking. You can make adjustments to the stitch length by doing one or both of the following operations. 1. Screwing the thumb nut in or out or 2. Moving the plate up or down. Here we are removing the thumb nut so you can see the smaller nut under it. By threading the nuts out, the stitch length will be longer in forward and reverse. Threading the nuts closer to the machine will reduce stitch length and will also minimize potential contact between the feed dog and needle plate in both forward and reverse. Before tightening the thumb nuts, be sure to check that the feed dog does not hit the needle plate in both forward and reverse. When happy, tighten the smaller nut under the thumb nut with an 8mm wrench and, if required, pliers on the thumb nut. You may want to use a rag to avoid damage to the surface of the thumb nut when using pliers. Maximum or minimum stitch length can also be set by moving the easy set stitch length plate up or down. Moving the plate up will increase the forward stitch length, but reduce the stitch length in reverse and vice versa. Again, always check to be sure the feed dog does not hit the needle plate after any adjustments are made to the easy set stitch length plate or thumb nut. Your goal in fine tuning the thumb nut or plate is to try to achieve a balanced forward and reverse stitch length. After setup is complete, you're ready to use the easy set stitch length plate for quick and easy stitch length adjustments. The Easy Set Stitch Length Plate now comes standard on all new Ultrafeed sewing machines and is sold separately for those who want to add this upgraded part to their older Ultrafeed.